Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy, and this is the 24th review of group number 12 dry snuff nasal playlist. So we will be taking a look at a Rosinski product. There are quite a number of Rosinski products left, although Pfizer, Land Snuff, and Bernard are getting low. So we are going to be moving through a review of Berliner Luft. It is in a 10 gram sachet. I will be taking it over the desk to take a closer look at the packaging and the product inside. If you are interested in making a small one-time donation for core content of this channel, Smokeless Tobacco, there is a PayPal link in the description. I thank you for your consideration. So let's take this over the desk before we bring it back up top so I can let you know what I think. So this playlist and another review from it will be popping up in the last 20 seconds of this video on screen, all right? So this is what you're looking at. It's basically sort of a cardboard outer foil inner 10 gram zip locked sachet, a tiny bag. That is a sticker that they put on these, uh, depending what they're filling it with. These are also the stickers that are used on their glass jars. Warning label is in German. On the back, another German warning label. The website, which you may actually still be able to buy some of their jars and their snuff spoons, but the tobacco sales have stopped. But I believe at last check about a week ago, that website was still up and running. So it's denoted as 10 grams, and it was made during January of this year, which is a really, really close date when dealing with nasal snuff. All right, with that, as I said, there is a Ziploc on this. This one, I am not 100% sure if it is engaged, but I'm gonna be careful anyway because I open these with scissors. So let's get that open. Their cuts are here, but to really get it open, you have to go lower, right about there. Now, these are made, they're hard to deal with, and that's because they're, they're meant to be refill packaging. Uh, as I said, the company does make, or did make, and still sells, last I checked, glass jars. So let's see if we got that, and I think, I think we did. But this is going to be tricky because I can't tell. Oh, no, it is engaged. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot darker than I was expecting. Not that I really am expecting anything per se uh, because I have not looked this up. We're going to get some out as soon as I get these scissors out of the way and we will put that down okay so the base flower that they use and I know for fact is Burley Let me close this back up here if I can uh, as far as this one goes it's a base flower there is something coming in or that has been laid on top of it that is considerably more coarse, but not to the extent I'm getting worried. Let me put it that way. It is darker than I was thinking it might be. I, I don't know why I'd be thinking that, but it is dark. I cannot gauge a, a scent at this level, so we are going to take it back up top so I can get an idea of what's going on here. And we are back. So let me uh, try to get a, 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 a scent off the pouch first. Man, these things are... They do say, though, wherever these have been sold, to the best of my knowledge, they do say online refill sachet now 
they don't allude to exactly what they're because some of these online places like Mr. Snuff and Tope.com, to the best of my knowledge, never sold the jars, but they did allude to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that sounds a little that sm sounds that smells a little potent, actually. I have no idea what this is. It's there may be some bergamot. There may be some menthol. There may be some sneezing. <laughs> there, there may be. I'm, actually, that's not a joke. All right, so I'm going to get some out of my hand here. And we will pinch off that. I will get you closed up. So, like a lot of their products, it's got a very um, garden herbs aspect to it. But this one is a little different in the fact that there's a citrus aspect to it, but there's also a spicy aspect. Now, it could be the tobacco that's been laid in on top of the burly flour, or... It could be something that's added, but we are about to find out no matter what, so it doesn't matter. Okay, it's got menthol, which is good. It's pretty strong, nicotine-wise. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Wow, that's pretty good, though. I'll tell you that much. Had me worried there for a second. I was like, uh... So we got bergamot going. A bit of menthol, but don't don't think it's going to be like something approaching like a Polish product. It's 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 in check. It's it, I actually sort of like it. Um, there's something spicy going on. And it's not the German tobacco that I always mention but never actually name because I'm afraid of butchering the pronunciation beyond repair. It's not that. But it could be another tobacco, which I am not going to name by name because I've absolutely butchered beyond. Uh, that is Polish. It could be that. It could be something they're added, though, besides that. It's almost, um, it's not, eh, spicy might not be the word. It might be pepper. It might be some sort of pepper, like black pepper. I'm going to do a little more. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The nicotine hit on this is really good. Like, really good. Um, you can't take it too far. The moisture, the, the moisture in it is pretty good. It, it's not... I don't know if it would work if it was as high as I like. Um, but the menthol has an uh, uh, ease of use aspect to it so I am really not feeling like sneezing at all um, I wonder if I I'm just feeling to see if there's anything I can feel yeah there there's on top of that flower there's definitely a coarser cut going in okay so all I absolutely know it does have bergamot it does have a little bit more than a whisper, but a small amount of menthol. I am not a big fan of menthol. I mean, I don't really have anything per se against it, but uh, when it's used in the, a limited amount like this, I really enjoy it. The men I have a problem with menthol when it gets to, to the point where you can't tell what else is going on. Like, you can't, there's no tobacco scent, there's no 
there's nothing. Just menthol. Just a blast of menthol. This, I can tell, although I'm not quite sure what it is, the tobacco scent, I can tell the bergamot. Wow, this is another good one. You know what? I have heard no word about what's going on with this product line. Now I may be about to sneeze, which is really not good because <coughs> I have a, quite a bit of this on my hands still. <coughs> but I also may just get away with one there, or maybe I'm being overly hopeful. No? No, I think I'm good. Um, this is another good one. Uh, unfortunately, I, I have nothing to report on like when this is, you know, if you'll be seeing this again. Now, for those in Germany, I am guessing there are going to be some legacy sachets in actual real tobacconists collecting dust, most likely, for quite a while. So you may want to be, if, if you're actually in Germany or you're a U.S. service member in Germany, you may want to keep an eye out. And as far as the larger community, as dry snuff goes, you may want to buy up what you can afford, even if it's not for your own personal use, because there will be interest if you mention, you know, on some forum that you have, oh yeah, Berliner Luft, I have like 10 sachets of that just sitting here. Trust me on this. Anyway, so this has been my review of Berliner Luft. It is a lightly mentholated bergamot spicy blend. That, that's the best I can say. Now, whether the spicy aspect, the peppery aspect is from an additive to the tobacco or the tobacco itself, I am not quite sure. It's probably a mixture of the two, I am thinking. Anyway, I am the Suntai Dipachu guy. I do hope you all are well. As always, do take care of yourselves and God bless.